a chance now to review what we're going to call video number one, okay? That's correct. Will that help you explain your testimony to the jury? It will. And will it help explain the positioning of the parties at the time of the accident? Yes. And if I interrupted you, go ahead. Objection. Move to strike. That's opinion evidence. Um, overruled and so this animation will be received again for demonstrative purposes not as evidence but to illustrate this witness testimony does it help explain your recollection of the events yes is it substantially perfect excuse me substantially similar to your recommendation uh, recollection of the events on the date in question it is very similar yes so uh, I will ask for permission now to publish this to the jury as a demonstrative exhibit and it'll be stopped where I've indicated to Mr. Egan to stop it. Okay. Um, do you see all these people identified? The woman on the left, top left. Did you observe her? Uh, Mr. Sanderson did, but I'm doing a little laser. Mm -hmm. Did you personally observe that person? I saw her, yes. She was viewed described by Mr. Sanderson as sort of a, a beginner, more beginner person that he did not want to hit. Uh, okay. What do you recall? I don't recall much because she was not an, uh, a skier that I was concerned with. Okay. She was on the other side of the run. Um, I did see her, but she was not skiing fast, so I really didn't pay much attention to her. And then on this side, is there a bit of a little cliff or ridge here on the well, skiers, it, right? It's not a cliff, but it is a drop-off. Right. Um, as most ski runs, they're created with bulldozers and machinery and, to create a run, and so there's always an edge from okay. the Mad Main uh, and, feature. And do you recognize these, are these the snow-making equipment buckets on the right? Right, it's basically utilities. Okay. Uh, here it would be, uh, one would contain water and one would contain compressed air. And at the top of this run as a, on this exhibit, is that the very top of the entire run? Of the bandana run, yes. You can see a lift up in the upper left-hand corner. Top that would be the ruby lift. That's like and if you're, prove you're not a robot. I wouldn't have missed, I would have missed that actually. Okay. okay, then it says Paltrow, is that brown? Uh, okay. Sanderson is identified in blue, do you see that? Yes. Christensen, is that you kind of represented? Okay, yes. Moses is in orange uh, under this, you with me? Yes. Carrie Oaks, is she the instructor for Apple? That is correct. All right. Uh, by the way, plaintiffs asserted in their opening that Ms. Uh, Paltrow was reckless and dangerous on this hill. Did you observe that? Not at all. All right, let's run through this from start to end, or start till the crash. So we're going to stop right before the crash. Okay, um, can we do it just a little longer to see where they're, well, let's talk, let's talk to you. So when you turned your head, we want to, we want to fast forward over that. So uh, you tell us, there's, there's Gwyneth and there's Sanderson. Uh, did you see a little bit more of this or was this the end of what you saw? I saw a little bit more of this, and um, can we go slow motion until he says, "I want you to say stop." Uh, okay. Okay. The judge is the governing okay. person here, but uh, can we? You say stop when you no I, longer observe right. something. Is that okay, Your Honor? Thank you. Okay. Once he was below us. Okay, so he's now he's heading back. I would say right in there. Okay, you turned stop. away. And then um, at some point you looked, you came over, and so James, if there's a way to, uh, were they at a complete stop 
when you came over? Yes, they were. And so, is there a way, James, to move this to when they're at a complete stop? He's going to put it back on here. Okay. All right. Uh, this is you on the right. Is that? That would be uh, correct. And then they're now collided. They're pretty close to the edge there. Would you agree? Yes, because as I walked around, I was actually standing below the lift. I mean, below the, the run slightly. And there's the buckets right there, right? Right. Those are the, are the tubes. And now, can we play the remainder? Thank you. And uh, Moses uh, is going to say he essentially followed you over. Uh, do you have any and heard something? I'm just wondering. Okay. Um, so all I. The, the, your Honor should rule. Sustained. Okay. Okay. Um, okay. Okay. Did you observe uh, Gwyneth uh, upset? Yes, she was upset. Comment on that, would you? When you're skiing, you don't expect to be um, taken out because that happens very fast. Uh, we cannot look behind you now. I have, I'm in the habit of always looking uphill because quite often my. Sustained. Okay, just um, let's be a little more precise on the question. Was Gwyneth upset? Gwyneth was upset. And yes. what, did, what did you observe? As I came across, uh, she was speaking to Mr. Sanderson. Um, once again, the first things I did was to ask if everyone was okay. Did he? Did she yell at him? I don't know that she yelled. I remember her, that she was speaking uh, quite sharply. And but I don't know that, that I would say she yelled. I, I can't recall that. In your experience, is it the, the person who hit that says, who hits the other that says, I'm sorry? Objection, overbroad. Over, over, overruled. Go ahead. Who who apologizes typically? Usually, the person who uh, runs into the other person is the first to apologize. And who's mad? Objection. Who's um, usually mad? Uh, excuse me. Objection. That uh, <laughs> speculation, vague, and overbroad. Over, over, overruled. So, so who's usually mad? Uh, usually a person that feels like they were uh, the victim okay. is upset. And have you seen collisions where there's a, there's a dispute? Like, you did it. No, you did it. Have you been there? That happens from time to time. Was there any dispute between these two uh, among what you saw and heard from them? Mr. Sanderson never said, you ran into me. Or Did, anything of that nature. So, was there any dispute to investigate that, like, who's telling the truth? Not at that time. And did Ramon, by the way, did he ever come to you and say, like, hey, I saw it and she hit him? He did not. He never said a word to you, right? No. Do you see the buckets in the top right? The snow yes. making buckets? Uh, does that help you in providing a landmark for where we are? It does. Now, you weren't flying over this in a helicopter looking down, right? That is correct. And uh, the animation isn't perfect. Do you agree? It's not as good as, as if we had had a drone looking down on the site? Yes. The animation shows everything almost in slow motion. Uh -huh. And the events were much more uh, dynamic. Okay. But as far as positioning, it's very good. All right, let's show the uh, the video, and James is going to jump over. The, will you tell us when to stop? Okay, let's stop for a minute and just orient everyone. Okay, at the top in yellow is uh, 
Miss Oaks, the ski instructor, is that true? Correct. Then Apple and Purple, that's uh, Gwyneth's daughter, true? Correct. Moses, Gwyneth's son, right? Correct. Then we're, you're just out of the screen, Christensen? Yeah, I'm on the screen here. Uh, yeah. Oh, it, yeah, our screen's just a tad lower. Smaller. You're about okay. to come in. Okay. And then uh, Woman is uh, what's been viewed to as a kind of a more beginner skier. And you, you observed her? I observed her but didn't pay a lot of attention to okay. her. Okay. And uh, Mr. Sanderson will talk about her. And then Ms. Ms. Paltrow. Okay, let's proceed. Okay, let's stop just for a minute. Mr. Sanderson is over here. Did you observe him making turns? Yes, I did. What kind of turns? They were large Asking radius. Asking it and answered. Overruled. They were large radius turns, um, edge to edge, quite dynamic. What's the word radius mean? Radius is from the center of what would be a circle to the outside of the circle, and that's the arc that your turn makes. So big or small? He was making fairly large radius turns. And what kind of turns was Gwyneth making? She was making a shorter radius turn, so she was in a very narrow corridor, and he was, uh, we use the term carpet to carpet, which means that you ski from one side to the opposite side as you make your turns, and he was close to carpet to carpet using the entire run. And which is safer for the skier? Well, if you make a small t turn, you're out of the line of traffic. Uh, making large radius turns is fine, but you have to be aware of all of your surroundings, and you have to be watching to make sure that uh, you're not coming into traffic. Okay. And when you're, uh, let's play a little more, and will you tell us when to stop? You're seeing this on your own monitor. Mm -hmm. Stop when you stop seeing things. A little bit further. A little bit further. Right. Just a, okay. He's now below me. Right there. And so I, that's when I turned away from him. And how many seconds is that on the, just for the record? It's showing five, but I know it's not five. Okay. So were Gwyneth's skis headed downhill when you last looked? Well, on a short radius turn, your skis are going back and forth, and, and she was making her turns very rhythmically. Yeah. Uh, she was in a pattern, you know, and a, a rhythm, I mean. And so, I mean, she's, her, her body was facing down the hill. Okay. And did, have you known her to be a reckless skier? Never. Or to ski out of control? No. Okay, and when you stopped us here, and I just want to be clear, was Mr. Sanderson's skis then moving toward her? That is correct. Now, is it possible Ms. San Mr. Sanderson moved ahead of her and then slowed down? I can't say for sure, but the, the amount of time that elapsed from the time that I looked away to the time of the collision, there was not much slowing. Uh, speculation, Lex Foundation, move to strike. Overruled. Okay. Go, go ahead. From the time that I looked away until I heard the scream was a very short period of time. By the way, no one said that, for instance, that Mr. Sanderson pulled in front of her and then came to a stop and then was hit, right? I No, no one has ever made okay. that claim. All right. And um, now we're going to jump ahead to... Uh, when they came to a stop. So we're taking this off the screen. All right, um, and how many seconds do we know is this through? Till we go. Yeah, I gotta press play, I think. Okay, let's play the remainder. Okay. Uh, so, 
there's Moses. He's sort of stopped. Um, there are the buckets in the top right, correct? Yes. I'm calling them buckets. Did you call them snow making equipment? Well, we call them tubes. Tubes. Typically. Okay. They're big round tubes that just fit over everything. Because there's a standpipe, an electric, sometimes an electrical outlet, sometimes it's a, a compressed air pipe that comes up. Right. It's just protection so people don't bump into it. 